All right, what is going on everybody? Today I've got a very special video for all of you that I'm particularly excited about. It is the culmination of the last year's worth of investigation and research. And as the title implies, I have tracked down all of the cars used to film the TV show Nash Bridges, as well as the car used in the reboot that aired in November of 2021. And so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video and share it with all of you. Now, information I won't be sharing in this video, uh, although I do have it, is the VIN numbers of the cars, the current owners, and their locations. Uh, that's all private information, so go ahead and I will keep it as such. Uh, I'm sure if you do enough digging, you might be able to find it on your own, but you're not gonna get it from me. So that said, let's go ahead and dive into the meat of today's video. So for starters, during the original TV show, they had four confirmed cars used during the uh, years of the show. And there are rumors out there that an additional two cars were produced uh, for later seasons in the show, but from all the research I've been able to do, that's just what they are, just rumors. I've not been able to find any instances of those other cars, any pictures or any VIN numbers, anything like that. So if anybody has any information about the possibility of there being two additional cars being used for the TV show, let me know because I'm definitely interested to uh, learn more about that. But from what I've been able to determine from all the research I've done, there were four cars used. Now, I'm gonna put another asterisk on that because there was a fifth car used for one scene in the last season of the show, and that was a uh, 72 to 74 Barracuda that they cut the top off of, made it look kind of like a 71 convertible, and blew it up. So that car um, actually went to auction after the TV show ended, and it sold for like a few hundred dollars, and then I believe the person who bought it really wanted it just for the new set of tires that were on it, and then the car was scrapped. There really wasn't too much of that car left after being blown up, so um, that car is definitely gone as far as I can tell. But the other four, they still exist, and they are still out there. So we'll go through, car number one uh, is known as the Hero Car. It was, uh, it's been relayed that it was Don Johnson's favorite car to drive. It was originally a 1970 uh, 344 speed Cuda to begin with. And of course they cloned it into a 71 for the show. And rumor has it that during uh, early videoing that he blew up the 340 in that car and they replaced it with a 360. That car after the show went through a complete restoration by Totally Auto Inc and got upgraded with a 426 Hemi and a four speed. And the car looks absolutely amazing right now and is in incredible condition. Uh, one way to be able to identify car number one in the series, it was the one that had a elastomeric front bumper that was off of a 1970 car. And so it's very distinguished when you see it. And plus it also had uh, early on at least 70 Barracuda style uh, seat upholstery instead of the correct 71 style upholstery. But those types of nits on the details on the, on, um, what each of the cars had and things like that during the filming for building your own clone or tribute to the Nashville show. I'm gonna do a follow-up video coming up in a later date. Um, right now we're just gonna focus on where these cars are now. So I've been actually in conversations with the current owner of car number one, the hero car. He still has it, he loves it. Um, and so there are, there's a video out there on a YouTube from a few years ago of the car, which I will include a link in the description below for if you're interested. Um, from there, the second car, uh, that car also has gone through a complete restoration since the ending of the show. That car has now equipped with a 426 Hemi and an automatic transmission, but it has one of those aftermarket pistol grip uh, shifters installed to make it look like it's a manual. That car also still retains its camera mounts and camera wiring. Uh, so that's pretty neat looking, uh, bit of nostalgia there that that car still has uh, that equipment in the car. Uh, that car was listed for sale, uh, I believe like a year or two ago for about a half million dollars. Uh, whether or not it actually sold from there or not, I'm not sure, um, but I do have access to that ad. It's still posted out there, so it may still be available. That's the only one of these cars that I haven't talked to the owners or uh, a friend of the owners. And so that one has a little bit of mystery to it, but I do know the car has been fully restored. It was done by a company called Finer Details, uh, and it looks absolutely incredible from the pictures that I've seen. 
Now, car number three was a car that was retained by Don Johnson and has sold a couple of times since. It had a big block in it, and uh, since then, it just recently went through a complete restoration and it went a very unique route. It has been resto modded and it was actually on display at the Grand National Roadster Show uh, a couple weeks ago down in uh, Southern California. The car has gone through extensive rework, upgraded suspension, upgraded metal work, uh, full custom interior, doesn't have white interior anymore, and uh, a upgraded Hemi and a whole bunch of uh, stuff has been done to this car. It looks really great. It doesn't, of course, look like it did in the TV show anymore because of the rest of my work done to it. I've been talking to the owner on this one as well uh, recently, and so it's it's a really nice to see the car still exists, and uh, it's definitely uh, unique now from what the others are. And then, of course, we've got car number four. Now, this car uh, a lot of people out there uh, believe it has disappeared off the planet and is gone. Uh, there are a handful out there that know that know the car does still exist and uh, a good friend of mine uh, has been able to help uh, get information for me on the car and the car, what's really unique about this particular car is, well one, it was it's known as the jump car. So of the four cars, it is the worst of the bunch. Unfortunately, it took a lot of beatings. I, if you remember, there was an episode where a lady fell off the roof of a building and landed on the car uh, crushing the uh, windshield post. That was this car. Uh, this car was also used for all of the stunts, all the jumping, and uh, there's one of the articles in one of my various magazines that I've tracked down from the late 90s says that they interviewed someone who was on the uh, show staff and they said after some of those jumps the car just never drove right ever again so there's been a ton of reinforcements done to that chassis to make it be able to handle that kind of abuse although it sounds like even though it had all of that extra reinforcements on the chassis it still couldn't necessarily handle all of that abuse uh, but that car from what i understand is still in the as used condition from the TV show. It is the only one of the four that has not gone through a complete restoration. And so uh, it makes it very unique. It's got a 318 in it and uh, it's just really, really cool. So the reason I've got my uh, laptop here is some of the notes I wanna make sure that I covered because uh, there's a lot of information on these cars. So we've got one of the cars, of course, I mentioned, car number one was a 344 speed car. Now, two of these four cars were actually 1970 models converted into 1971 models. And then the other two were 71s. There's rumors out there that they were all 70s. There's rumors that there were one was a 71. I can tell you with 100% certainty because I have the VIN numbers right here in front of me that two of the cars were 1970 models and two of the cars were 1971 models. So we'll just go ahead and lay that to rest. Anybody that has any uh, information on the contrary, let me know because I have all the data here and I, it, I'm i pretty certain that there were two 70s and two 71s. Um, the cars also, the two 70s, which is interesting, both of them were 340 CUDA models. The 271s were 318 base models. And so there was a lot of effort going through to make them into actual CUDA models. And back in the 90s, having reproduction parts, they just didn't exist. So sourcing a lot of uh, factory original parts was a bit of a challenge. And so this all, of course, those are those cars. I know where all of them are. Um, there's a little bit of uh, issue on car number two on the exact whereabouts, but I do uh, have current information on its rough whereabouts. It's the only one I haven't talked to the owners to that is, as I mentioned before. Um, the other three, I know exactly where they are. I know exactly what they look like. I know what all four of them look like at this point. And of course, we've got pictures here that I've shown you throughout this video. So of course, the last car we need to talk about is the car used in the recent reboot. And I've been talking to the owner of this car uh, recently to get some insight from him and talk to him about his car and his experience. And what's really cool is he's been a fan of the show and wanted a tribute or a clone or whatever terminology you want to use today for it of the car. And so he found one, bought it, had it for a few years. And then when the reboot happened, he was contacted and asked if he wanted to have his car featured in the show, which he agreed to. And now his tribute to a Nash Bridges uh, Hemi Cuda convertible is an actual Nash Bridges TV used Cuda convertible. 
Now his car does not have a Hemi in it, does not have a four speed in it either. It does have an automatic and a big block, but nonetheless, it's a really cool car and it's now an authentic used Nash Bridges uh, TV car. So very cool story there. And another thing that I've been talking to the owners about is possibly coming out there and doing video features on each one of these cars. And most of the owners I've talked to have all been really um, agreeable to that. The challenge of course is me finding time to get out there because they are scattered throughout the country and especially having my normal day job going on as well as uh, my personal life with of course having the, our daughter on the way in the next couple of months. It definitely is going to make it a challenge for me to get out and go and film all these cars, but it is something I'm working on and you can look forward to in future videos. Uh, how soon I'll be able to get out there, like I said, I, anybody's guess at this point, but it is something I'm working on and something I plan on doing. So that's today's video, guys. I hope you found this information useful and entertaining. Um, it's really cool, at least I think so, that all these cars have survived all these years, especially considering the abuse they went through during the show. Um, there's still a ton more information. I'm, like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be doing a video here shortly on the details of these cars if you wanna go ahead and make your own Nash Bridges tribute. And on that note, guys, uh, if you want to be kept updated with all my future videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. So that way, YouTube will keep you updated with all my future videos, and it doesn't cost you guys anything. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.